Gorgeous start to the day right now. We'll start out with a live look from our Roanoke Sky Cam. Beautiful sunrise on tap for us. We are going to enjoy some blue sky for your morning drive. But as we head into the afternoon, we are going to have more clouds developing. We are starting out a little bit chillier than yesterday, especially as we head into the Highlands and New River Valley. 49 degrees waking up in Blacksburg this morning. 44 in Lewisburg, 46 Hot Springs. Getting a little bit warmer, though, as we head to the east. 53 Roanoke, 58 Lynchburg, 60 through Danville at 62 degrees and South Boston at 60 degrees. A little bit warmer as we head to the east and that is because we have a little bit more cloud cover in place. And we have those clouds that build in overnight. That helps to keep some of that heat from escaping back into the atmosphere. But most of us had those clear skies overnight, so we're waking up a little bit cooler. So sunglasses for that morning drive with a lot of sunshine in place. But as we head into the afternoon, the clouds are going to thicken up for us and we are going to have a few rain showers developing. Temperatures about 10 degrees cooler than they were yesterday afternoon. 71 degrees for a high temperature around 5 this afternoon in Roanoke, 73 Lynchburg, 69 across the New River Valley, 76 degrees south side, 60 in the Highlands. Hour by hour on the local view. Now what's making all the difference? The wind direction. All right, notice these little arrows. That's your wind. The morning drive, they're out of the north. They're pretty calm, so we're still enjoying that sunshine. But between 10 and 11 o'clock this morning, they're going to turn out of the north and east. And so whenever we have that easterly component to the wind, we have that cooler air moving in from the north, and it gets stuck in our Appalachian Mountains. We call that the wedge. We talk about it a lot. Whenever that happens, the clouds start to thicken up for us, and then those rain showers develop. The good news is not a lot of thunderstorm action, not downpours, just a few lights scattered. Rain showers around, couple of moderate showers, but nothing too heavy for us. Looking ahead to the overnight hours, the clouds are still with us. We still have some rain showers on tap. Tomorrow, we lose a little bit of that easterly component to the wind. Still there, but notice a little bit more from the north, so we could have some breaks of sunshine. If we get enough breaks of sun, we could have a couple of thunderstorms develop during the afternoon, but I'm thinking it's still looking like mainly just a few rain showers for us, and tomorrow actually looks a little drier than today, especially for our eastern counties, but the NRV highlands, it looks like you're still going to be dealing with those rain showers for tomorrow afternoon. Now jumping ahead to our Friday, the winds completely lose that easterly component. We're going to have those moving out of the west, the southwest, and that is going to allow us to enjoy a lot more sunshine for our Friday afternoon. And thanks to that, we'll warm up nicely. Now we're also going to have those pollen levels increasing again by Friday, but today, tomorrow, pretty low levels up to about medium Friday through the weekend. On that Friday, we top out in the upper 70s to low 80s. Middle 80s Saturday, upper 80s with some reaching the low 90s Sunday, and then a lot more of us reaching those 90s on our Monday and Tuesday. And we're staying dry Friday through the weekend. Can't really a stray shower in the afternoon, but thinking most of us are dry until our Tuesday, and we have a slightly better chance for a few of those hit or miss afternoon thunder showers.